Hi, hope you all are having a good day. So a couple weeks ago, I launched this Tailwind CSS component library and I deployed it on a VPS that I got from DigitalOcean. It has one core CPU, one gigs of RAM and 25 GB SSD and it's costing me $6 a month. Now this may not sound like a lot, but if I check out my server analytics, I'm only using like one to 3% of my CPU and then probably like 40% of my RAM. Right now I don't have much traffic so this is why it's super low. I'm curious like realistically how much traffic my website can handle. So that's what we're gonna figure out in this video. Before we go further, I think we should understand how the website is currently working and how are we gonna do the load test. So the website is mainly built by Next.js and I'm using SQLite for the database and caddy for web server and Revex proxy. All of this is in a VPS, right? So whenever a user does a request, it goes to caddy and then caddy forwards to the Next.js and Next.js get all the data from the database and returns the response, right? And let's say the user gets the response in 500 milliseconds. And now to perform all these operations, my server had to use its resources, right? As the website is getting older, it's getting more and more users. So let's create some users. So let's say each of them are using 30% resources of the server. So they all are getting their response in 500 milliseconds. This one as well. But the problem happens when a new user shows up. So let's create a new user. And he also making a request. And now my server is busy handling all these three user. So if this user is requesting, he will not get his response in 500 milliseconds, right? He probably have to wait till this guy's request is done. And let's say he gets his response in 1000 milliseconds, which is basically a second, right? And then when you start to get more and more users, the request and response time starts to get longer and that's when your website becomes unusable. So that brings the question at one point it becomes unusable, right? And according to Google, that number is three seconds. And that's what we're going to try in this video where we will create a bunch of requests to our server and try to see at what point the request time gets to three seconds. And for that, we're going to use this tool called Locust for our load testing. To get started, just go to documentation. And here you'll find the installation guide. I have set up a basic Locust uh, config file here where we'll be requesting this route. Right now it takes 672 milliseconds to load the page. Now let's start the Locust server. Just run Locust. And it should start the server in localhost 8089. Now here you can set up some config for your load test. So the first field number of users on peak concurrency. So what is the maximum number of users you, you want to reach, right? So just for the beginning, let's hit 10. And next you can specify in each second how many users you want to increase. So let's just put it three. And next for host, uh, we're going to use this route. So you can just put add as it is. In the advanced option, you can specify for how long you want to run the test. Uh, let's just say 10 seconds start and now it will start creating a bunch of requests to your server uh, you can see so far it made 129 requests right now it has almost 20 concurrent requests the average request time was only 342 milliseconds which is pretty good uh, you can go to charts to see the analytics here you can see when it started it was zero and at this point it reached to 14.5 requests per second and then at max it reached to 20 almost. Next you can check the response time. As you can see at its peak 50% of the request was done in only 320 milliseconds. So it started with 0 and on each second we increased 3 users. So after 3 seconds it went to 9 users and then at its peak it went to 10 users. And if you go to failures, we didn't have any fail request, so which is pretty good. So looks like our server can easily handle 10 concurrent users, right? Which is pretty cool. So let's make it a little difficult for it. But before that, let's save this in a node. 
let's create a new test now this time let's say at its max it should request 25 concurrent users and we're gonna ramp up to 5 on each second let's make it for 15 seconds this time start okay the application is starting if we check the server you can see the CPU usage is going up and right now it's at 80% maybe it might reach to 100% okay didn't that's pretty good uh, let's check the stat now this time on the peak we were serving 29 requests per second or almost 30 the average response time also looks pretty good and these are the number of users so looks like we can easily handle 25 as well so let's save this the average load time was 580 and this one is also a pass right so looks like we're gonna have to do a last test uh, this time we're gonna use 100 as peak currency and we're gonna ramp up by 10 I guess each second and we'll run this for a very long time two minutes start all right so it's working and don't worry I will not make you wait two minutes uh, to see the response but I'll cut to the good part when it's ready okay so it's done surprisingly it did pretty well like on average it's still less than two seconds which is pretty good uh, unfortunately some of the users probably had a bad time but for the most part it was pretty good I was also requesting from my own API client during the test and it was like ranging from 1.5 seconds to 2 seconds uh, of response time so looks like it is a pretty valid number and if I show you the charts let's zoom in a little you can see we were handling like more than 50 requests per second and for the response time it's fairly decent now here probably some of the requests took more than three seconds but overall I'm pretty impressed actually so even with 100 concurrent users it was less than like two seconds of load time on average so I would say that status is still pass and that is pretty impressive because if you think about it this is probably a little exaggeration right because it's requesting constantly in a real world scenario the users will not just hit refresh like all the time right it probably like go to a page read for a few seconds and go to another page for a few seconds probably at 200 it will be unusable I don't want you to bore you again with just doing the same thing but you can probably guess it will might not hold up uh, 200 concurrent users but still like 100 concurrent users is pretty good especially uh, a tool which doesn't have a lot of users now right so yeah don't underestimate a six dollar vps it can probably do a lot more uh, than you expect so yeah that was it guys hope you guys liked it let me know what you think of this kind of content and of course if you are looking for a ui library make sure to check out retro ui it's ui.reflogs.com link will be in the description and yeah i will see you guys next time bye bye